Labourlist, the pro-Labour website, is proclaiming that the Blairites are back. Prior to the last election, they'd been out of power for 14 years. And when Jeremy Corbyn was elected by a landslide to leave the Labour Party in 2015, they thought they were going to be out of power forever. And they would have been had Jeremy backed open selections for sitting MPs. According to Len McCloskey, Jeremy asked him to wield the Unite the Union's block vote at the 2018 conference against forcing MPs to go through a reselection process prior to every election. That would have consigned New Labour to the dustbin of history where it belongs. Instead, Sir Keir Starmer is giving Blairite retreads a new lease of life. He's made Tony Blair's Downing Street Chief of Staff, Jonathan Powell, his new National Security Advisor. Former Health Secretary Alan Milligan, who's trousered millions of pounds from his consultancy work for private healthcare interests, now sits on the board for the Department of Health. And last Friday, The Guardian reported that Peter Mandelson could be the UK's next ambassador to the United States. This depressing reality could have been avoided if Len and Jeremy hadn't scuppered the attempt to extend party democracy. Now we're saddled with a Labour Party that's just as committed as the Tories are to neoliberalism and war.